and all the other people who are assisting our farmers, God has blessed our country with food and food security. And I want to say we thank God for his providence. Number two, as I promised the people of Kenya, we have changed the conversation in our country. Today, when I listen to Makali here, when I listen to Atandi two days ago, when I listen to uh, many members of parliament across Kenya, the conversation we are having is about our development, the schools that we are building. As Makali has said, that he wants more classrooms in Bungoma DEB. The electricity connection we are doing around Kenya, the roads we are building. So that conversation as to this road was promised, has not been built, that road is ongoing, but slowly that road is going on well. That conversation about issues, development in our country is a very, very positive conversation. It is the conversation that I always wanted Kenya to have. Not a conversation about our ethnicities or our differences in religion or other sectar sectarian interest. I am very proud that we are having as a country the right conversation. Conversation about the development of our country. Conversation about the issues that inform the progress, transformation, and prosperity of our nation. And in that way, collective responsibility of our country. I ask Bishop Mechimo and all the other bishops and all the other uh, men and women of goodwill, men of God around Kenya, to continue to pray for us so that our focus remains on how we transform our country. And thirdly, God has blessed us with the words of Matthew 5, 9. Blessed are the peacemakers. Heri wapatanishi. I have just come from a trip in Nyanza. And it is amazing what God can do. You know, it is almost a miracle that the people who were on extreme sides a few months ago, today, we are speaking as though we are very long time brothers and sisters and friends. And that is the beauty of our country. That is the beauty of our country. That when circumstances demand, we close ranks as a people, we forge alliances as a people, we build bridges as Kenyans, and we work together for the greater good of our nation. And I want to encourage and promise us as Kenyans that those who want to divide us will fail and they will fail miserably. Those who want to preach to us sectarian, ethnic, parochial, regional politics will not succeed in this country because this country is a country that trusts in God and all of us are children of the same God. And so every leader, those of us who have the privilege to be leaders in Kenya, at whatever level, we must understand, we must appreciate that we are leaders for the people of Kenya. And it doesn't matter, just like Lusaka here, he was not voted for everybody in Bungoma. Yeah? Almost 40% of the people did not vote for him. But he's the governor for Bungoma. All the people of Bungoma 
and he must work for all the people of Bungo. And I also promise that I will work for all the people of Kenya without discrimination, without exclusion, because that is what is demanded of government by the Constitution, and I am perfectly aware that it is also the will of God to work with everybody, to work for the people of Kenya in their entirety, in their unity, and I want to promise Kenyans that I will go out of my way. I will do whatever it takes to make sure that this country is united and that no part of Kenya is left behind as we march into the future as a people. It is our collective responsibility as leaders to walk 